What is up, Diablo fans? Five here, and we are getting ready to do another commentary on Diablo Ultimate Evil Edition. Now, some of you guys might be aware that the PlayStation Network is down. Unfortunately, we're not able to do Subscriber Sunday here on YouTube, so I do apologize for that. Uh, the PlayStation servers are getting DDoSed, so that is a big problem. Um, but today we're going to do a few bounties and I'm going to talk over with a few things that um, some people have asked in chat and also on YouTube and that is talking about magic find, legendaries, the drops and everything else like that. So first let's get into uh, talking about uh, the magic find. As you guys can tell with some things, it's most of the gear that you get, there is no magic find. They wanted to basically not have Magic Find as a um, as a crutch, basically of you know decking your gear out with Magic Find and stuff like that. They wanted to be uh, you know with with the main stats that you want to have on on your gear. Uh, with that being said, they say that Magic Find doesn't affect the game whatsoever. So you know putting uh, an ant gym in your helm and stuff like that, it doesn't affect it or stacking Magic Find up um i haven't noticed I, i've tested it out uh for a day and i really haven't noticed any changes in legendary drops now i've had friends uh biggie mac um actually comment and say that he's done it and he's seen a significant you know drop in legendaries with happening on now another thing of um bringing up magic find and also you know when you have a party so you have a few people that's in your group that does increase your your magic find now what we have noticed and what they have said is if you're playing with a group of you know two three you know have a full party you're going to get more legendaries in which that is as the case um i actually recently partied up a couple days ago with a few people and i noticed you know one right after another just legendaries were dropping and we weren't even on um, torment or anything I think we were on like master or something else like that and just legendaries I think I got like seven legendaries in one run in one rift which was insane and the next one I got like two or three so that brings me up to my point of legendaries legendaries are it's it, it's really really weird now um, with legendaries so you know how when people talk about RNG RNG is still there, but there is a preset loot table that every time you go into a game that you are designated. So, you know, for instance, uh, you could have on your loot table plans, you could have one-handed swords, and you can have helms. Well, next time you go into a game, that can be, you know, different. So when you get a legendary and you have certain things set on your loot table, that's what the only thing that it's going to fall. It's not completely completely ran randomized but it still is randomized to a certain point so we leveled up another paragon awesome so that's 147 so getting back to legendaries and the way that the, the drops are is it is you know like i said designated loot table now if you want to get more legendaries what you need to do is party up with your friends or you know some randoms and stuff like that and go into rifts Rifts are the most. Rifts have the best uh, drop rate out of everything, so that is where you're going to get the most uh, of your loot. Now, um, I haven't been able to party up with anybody uh, too much. Um, I guess it's just a, a gear barrier. Um, I've been playing so much that you know I'm in you know Torment three for, for gear wise, while people are still trying to get into Torment one. Um, which I don't mind. I mean, we can. I can always go with you know being lower and then just run through everything and share loot. But I mean, th this is what this game is designed. It's not designed now, you know, for solo play. It's all about uh, group play and you know grouping up. And um, what I would recommend is class stack. And what I mean by that is, is say you you got your friends. Everybody be a witch doctor. Then you guys can share the gear because of, you know, um, the loot table. Also, uh, with smart drops, you know, more you're more likely to get something that has, uh, you know, fit something with your class than with, uh, you know, getting, like, something random or whatever. Like, if you're a witch doctor, you're not most likely 
going to get a wand or anything else like that. So that's what I definitely recommend doing is just class stack up with the same group. Uh, everybody can be monks or, you know, you know. Um, just so that you know, like, that legendary drops are going to be easier for you because you'll be able to share gear. So say you need help out with a ring, like, I really need a ring really, really bad, um, you know, and you got a ring that dropped, you know, it's most likely going to have int because you're, you're, you are a uh, witch doctor. So that's another thing. Um, I really don't know the total math for the legendary drops, what is the percentage and stuff like that. Um, I know if you look on some of the forums in Battle.net or Diablo Inc. Gamers or stuff like that, you'll probably be able to find more of a mathematical equation. I just have a, as much fun as possible. Um, and then, you know, some people are like, well, how do you get so, such good gear and, you know, this, that, and the other. And it's, it's if you play a lot, um, you know, I was always one of those guys on PC, like, well, how come I'm not getting, you know, top tier gear while you're getting all this gear and stuff like that? And they're just like, you need to play more. And then once I started playing, you know, more and more, um, I started getting, you know, the set items, the high tier items and stuff like that, which, you know, took me to the next level on gear. And, you know, that that's the whole thing about the uh, dungeon crawlers is you want to have something that's going to take you up to the next tier. Uh, you want to you keep grinding and grinding and grinding and be able to go up to, you know, that next level. So right now I'm trying to push for T4, which I need to get more Jade pieces and the ring of Royal Grand Year so I can be able to do the Jade's build. Um, also, I'll have to get a new helm and I'll probably have to get a new weapon, um, something with cold damage on it or something like that. To be able to do the the jades build efficiently so that's you know how legendaries and magic find work uh now you guys can do your own testing and i'm going to show you a reason you know why like i think um probably we should test more of magic find um, on our gear is because of this here is if you take a look at the cane set item the, the three pieces of 50% magic uh, item find bonus. So, I mean, imagine having 50% plus, you know, something in your helm and you're in a party. You know, I think that's going to help out your magic find more. Um, I would like to get with you guys and do more testing on that. And uh, also test it for your guys, you know, for yourselves. And let me know um, what's, uh, you know, what have you calculated out to be and do it, you know, rifts versus uh, bounties, you know, T1, you know, versus stuff like that. And I forgot to mention it about T1. T1 or higher is where you get your set items. So say, uh, let's see here, do I have any, like Zunis. You, if, to get Zunis, you have to be on T1, T1 or higher for them to drop. When they're on Master and below, they're not gonna drop. It's just gonna be Blackthorns that will drop that are set items. So that, I, I forgot to mention about that. T1, you know, you get the special special items. And same thing with Kadala. you got to be on T1 or higher to be able to get set items. And that's another thing, another episode that we're going to do um, is uh, Kadala and talk about her and everything else like that. But I just want to say thank you guys so much uh, for watching the videos. And thank you guys so much for getting over 1,700 subscribers. That means the world to me. Um, so thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Hope to see you guys in Sanctuary. Hopefully PlayStation Network will be back up and running, um, you know, when this video gets uploaded so we can all, you know, hang out. If it gets uploaded, if <laughs> the video will be uploaded today, but if PlayStation gets uh, up today, then we're going to be able to do Subscriber Sunday on YouTube and we'll live stream it and everything else like that. But thank you guys so much. See you guys in Sanctuary, and may the RNG be...